So today I decided to talk about certain eating habits which are unhealthy, which not only makes you unhealthy but also in the longer run may have issues in terms of bad health, in terms of gaining weight, uh, in terms of nutritional deficiencies. Um, and these are the habits that we don't realize because we've always uh, grown up seeing them and it kind of part of us as Indians. Uh, first one is tea with biscuits. Now, uh, of course, our teas don't uh, look complete without biscuits. And, and what we don't realize is that, uh, you know, that these big items uh, are baked with sugar, with salt, with oil, with yeast, which, which makes these sugar molecules easily available uh, for absorption. And we don't stop at one. And, and to top it all, we have this media who promotes digestive biscuits and, and light biscuits and fiber biscuits. Now, if you really look at these biscuits, one biscuit could be anywhere between 35 to 40 calories. And you can go up to four to five biscuits easily. Whereas one roti is about 55 to 60 calories. And if you eat one roti, you actually get the right nutrition and you're good for a few hours. So please compare it for yourself and you would know where we're going wrong. Number two is papad and pickle. One, because we always overeat when it comes to papad and pickle. We you know, generally tend to munch our papars uh, and the pickles are uh, used in the place of sabzis. Uh, and so the, the content of sodium is so high that it leads to uh, water retention, that it leads to hypertension uh, and and overall it leads to a higher number of calories because of the oil and the uh, other things that are added to these uh, you know the, the papar and the pickles uh, instead of that you could actually look at uh, you know the onion or the green chilies or the ginger uh, you know you could culture them with apple cider vinegar which will also which will give you taste and also give you the uh, good healthy bacteria so you can replace it with healthy options the number three uh, which is very important with and, and there is a lot of confusion about it uh, is the solid and liquid combination so what we do is we uh, one as uh, you know most of us don't spend good enough time in eating we don't chew our food properly we just um, you know gulp it down and on top of that we uh, we drink a lot of water and when that happens the food just travels down without being digested properly so make sure that of course i'm not again sipping water with uh, you know along uh, with your food in case if you need it but gulping down water is not a good idea so make sure that you're you're drinking water only when needed while eating especially so that one your digestive juices are um, concentrated enough for it to do its work and the food unnecessarily does not travel fast uh, yeah number four uh, which is extremely important is ego eating or formal eating now there could be people who eat very healthy uh, on an ongoing basis but uh, but when somebody comes to them uh, or they go to somebody's house they generally feel very shy to tell people that they eat healthy and hence they end up eating um, everything that's being served now i am not against the concept of eating everything once in a while but for some reason if it's not part of your diet or if you're on a strict regime there is absolutely no harm in letting others know that you're on a regime or you're on a diet or you're trying to eat healthy so don't eat under pressure of course once in a while if you want to eat feel free and enjoy but don't eat wrong under pressure yeah number five are these uh, ready to eat or the health products that are available like your light biscuits or your digestive biscuits which claims to have great amount of fiber which claim to be fortified uh, the masala oats or the ready-made oats or you know which which claims to have certain benefits kellogg's k for your weight loss uh, breakfast cereals now of course under the super packaging that it comes with it may uh, you know look very attractive you may feel like 
uh, you know picking it up and using it and people do but a good point to begin uh, would be to look at the nutrition label and then look at the content of uh, of sugar of oil of fat of saturated fat of overall calories the per serving size and everything so when you, when you look at the nutrition label very carefully you would realize what the fat shows is not really the reality in fact i just reviewed the post last week where uh, you know they had written uh, goodness of wheat and when you go to the ingredient list, uh, list they have written refined wheat which is maida so that's how the companies can really camouflage the uh, the information so make sure that you're reading the nutrition label and making wise choices so to stay healthy you need to make certain changes the choice is yours if you have any more questions on eating healthy or any particular food that you feel is healthy and you're unsure or the market tells you it's healthy and you're unsure do put them in the comment section and we will let you know the details don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll talk again bye bye